Well, we should that ABC 7 uh, first alert last night just to give you some time to prepare for these strong gusty winds. Now, I realize a lot of you folks are going to be in bed uh, because this thing's going to be coming through late, but you might want to tidy things up around the house, your outdoor lawn equipment, whatever the case you be. Maybe you have some potted plants out there. You live on the east and northeast sides of town. You're going to get the brunt of the winds, and we're talking about right here, 45 mile an hour gusts between 11 o'clock Friday night, very late, of course, into 4 o'clock Saturday morning. What happens after 4 o'clock Saturday morning? The winds will gradually begin to decrease. But as this front drives through here, of course, the temperature is going to be cold, so you're going to have some wind chills to deal with in case you folks are working the overnight shift and have to work outdoors. So here's a look at our latest future track computer model. High clouds coming in here. High clouds will be with us tomorrow morning. And then hang in there because later in the day we'll start to gradually clear things out. Then here comes the front blowing through here by your Friday night. The front will, of course, increase those gusty winds and then we'll clear out on Saturday and the winds will gradually weaken. So turning sunny on Saturday, we'll have sunshine in here on your Sunday, but it will be a little bit colder than right around that 70 degree mark we expect to hit for tomorrow. Here's your temperatures for the overnight hours. Of course, we're looking far east of us. Out in our Hudspeth, Culberson County area, Dell City at 30, Sierra Block at 38, Van Horn at 33. High temps tomorrow, you're going to be hovering right around 70 degrees. You'll have variably cloudy skies. The winds again will be southeasterly early on, then switching more towards the southwest by the afternoon hours. All right, El Paso County. Temps dropping down into the 30s. That blanket of clouds overnight will help keep those temperatures a little bit warmer. We'll be right around 70 across El Paso County for tomorrow. Here's your temperatures. La Mesa and Donata County, 33. Chaparral at 35. And La Union will drop down to 31 degrees. A little colder over there. And your high temps, upper 60s, right around 70 degrees. So some scattered clouds in here tonight. Temperatures will be a little bit warmer. We'll have those winds southeasterly at about 5 to 15. Tomorrow will pop to right around 70 degrees. All in all, not a bad day. Again, we'll have the clouds in the morning, then more sunshine will break during the afternoon hours. There's the switcheroo in the wind, southeasterly to westerly. Some occasional gusts, but the brunt of those real strong winds will take a while to get here by very late Friday night. 36 overnight in the Las Cruces. Your high will make it up to 67 degrees. You're going to be dealing with sunrise time shortly around 7 o'clock. Watch over the next several days. So we go 70 on your Friday, 60 behind the cold front Saturday, and then 59 on Sunday. Good bit of sunshine. Those overnight lows, the lows by Saturday morning will be pretty warm with the winds quite gusty and some of the cloud cover, but we'll hit about 46 degrees. So we can handle that. And then notice next week, our next wind maker will arrive in here Tuesday and Wednesday along with another cold front. We'll take a break. Have more news for you after this.